Hey y'all, country man here. I am going to make menudo. I've got 10 pounds of honeycomb tripe there thawing out in the sink. As it thaws out, I'm cutting it up in about 2 inch pieces. No big deal. And this is what it looks like. That's the reason they call it honeycomb. That's the inside of a cow's stomach. I've got two onions here, which is the only two I got, but I'm going to put them in the water to boil along with it. It takes out the, uh, let's call it gamey taste that uh, intestines would have. And in my pot there, I've started putting my menudo in there. This is going to boil for about four hours. And uh, I've got my hominy here. There's uh, two, four, six, eight cans of white hominy. I'm about too short. We should have a gallon of hominy. Up here, the only other ingredient that I'm putting in there is my menudo mix. So, uh, I do have one more ingredient, and that is my uh, pig's feet. They're in the, I got, uh, ham hocks is what I got, and they are smoked. And all you're going to do is put them in there for flavor. Regular pig's feet is what you're supposed to use, but I couldn't find none. So I'm going to use my ham hocks to give it a little flavor. And the main ingredients is the hominy, the tripe, and the spices. And that's about it. Along with the onions, if you got them, go ahead and throw you, uh, slice you two lemons in half, or put about a cup of uh, lemon juice in, in the water. And boil this down. It's going to turn whiter than white. And, uh... I'm going to finish this video tomorrow for the simple fact that tonight after this boils, I'm going to turn it off and let it cool down. And 75% of the fat out of my tripe is going to come to the top and congeal. And then I'm going to skim that off, bring it back to a boil, put my menudo spice in there and my hominy and cook it for about another hour, hour and a half on simmer, and then we will have uh, our menudo. Now I've got my jars. I'm going to uh, uh, can this up in cork jars, wide mouth, and I'm going to leave about an inch head space. I'm going to pressure can it for 90 minutes. Based on my elevation, elevation is 12 pounds. So you got to check your book on that. But that's what I'm doing. And these pieces here, you can see them. They're all... They'll look just like that when you get done. And these are... I'll cut these up. I'm using my scissors to cut them up. Got my uh, scissors here for your chicken or whatever. They come with my uh, cutting block. But I got a lot of work to do. So I'll get back to you guys later. Countryman out for now. That's a 21 quart pressure canner there. It's about a quarter of the way full. That's 10 pounds of menudo and a couple of onions. Going to cook this all night long for you guys. And then we'll, uh, like I said earlier, we'll go ahead and put our hominy and our uh, menudo seasoning in it. And, uh, I'll get back to you later, countryman out for now. 10 pounds of tripe, 8 cans of uh, white hominy, I'm going to put me about, uh, oh, at least a cup of my menudo spice in there. I'm going to fill this 21 quart pot back up to about halfway full and I'm going to let this simmer for about 2 or 3 more hours. And, uh, actually, I'm going to put it on simmer and cook it all night long. And tomorrow, we're going to can it up. So, uh, just want to let you know, let you look what that menudo looks like, the tri hominy looks like after 
it's done. The white hominy and everything, it's pretty good. And uh, I'll let you go for now and get a little further on down the road. I'll uh, let you check back in. God bless. I've got about a quarter inch before the thread stop there. I hope my batteries don't go dead. But what I'm going to do, once I get all my bubbles out, you got to go around the outside edge and get all your bubbles out. And what I got back here is uh, a little bit of vinegar in a bowl. And I use a paper towel and I go around that top edge there and get all the grease off. So that's important. Reach over here. I got my warm lids. Pop the top right back down on top of them. You make sure that that's centered up. Put this in there and tighten it down just about finger tight. You don't want it too tight because the air is uh, and bubbles has got to come out of there. And I am going to uh, pressure. Well, there's nine hours hard labor, y'all. There's uh, three, six, seven quarts of menudo. That's the beef tripe and hominy and the chili. And I wound up with two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen pints of uh, pinto beans. And one dead soldier. All Marines don't make the cut. When I opened the jump up and up the pressure canner, this is what I found. The lid was uh before it cooled down, it was sealed, but the bottom of it just didn't make it. So if you figure I've got uh I didn't save any money making that menudo way I figured it cost me about three seventy five four dollars a quart but I know what's in it and it's all natural so that counts for something I should have had two more quarts but I ate one last night and another one for breakfast this morning it turned out delicious the beans I can uh, turn around and make refried beans out of these that's what I plan on it that's more than a uh, those are 16 ounce pints uh, what do you got a 12 ounce can when you buy refried beans in the store so I'm getting one and a half cans per pint and uh, I'm happy the beans turned out real good I want to take thank Perry and Jen Rip Ripito for showing me how to do that uh, he's my go-to guy when I need something for canning and uh, I've got a little bit more of this video I'm going to put up in the beginning of this showing how to make the menudo. So, God bless, countrymen, out for now. Like I said, if I can do it, anybody can. Here's proof.